Hi everyone. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can create this kind of amazing Amazon auto blocking website. Auto blocking means these all products are fetching from Amazon.com automatically and the publishing on our website. So whenever someone click on buy now or will purchase the product, it will redirect to the Amazon and Amazon affiliate account, I mean affiliate ID. With the affiliate ID, it will be redirect automatically. So when someone will buy this product or buy any product, the commission will be added into our affiliate account. So it is basically an Amazon affiliate automated website or auto blog or auto post website that you can configure once i mean you don't need to add the products manually into your website the products will be fetched from the amazon automatically and you just just need to configure it once and uh, automatically it is it will fetch the products from the amazon and display on our website and when some customer uh, will buy the product the commission will be added into our account automatically so please keep watching this video and subscribe my channel for creating any wordpress website first of all we need to install wordpress for installing wordpress in your control panel you need to search for soft calculus app installer so in the soft calculus apps installer you can easily install wordpress so just click here after clicking that you will see a lot of applications will be available to install so you need to select wordpress so just click on install and here you need to select your domain so i have a lot of domains and subdomains so for now because this is for tutorial base so i'm going to select a staging website and you can just select your own domain while installing request so here i will select here the site name auto blocking now uh okay i will select this one and in the site description news website this okay so this is tagline you can change it later or not and here is the username you can select any username so i will select auto blog you can select any username as your requirements and here is the password so i am going to copy that password and you can just uh, use the basic settings and just click on quick install here just click on install now WordPress has been installed and I will just click on that admin link. So this is the admin link. So I can easily navigate and it will be redirected me into my dashboard. Now you can see this is our dashboard. So in the dashboard, I will just click on visit the website. So let's see how our website looks like. So there is no need for a uh, sub calculus. So I'm going to close this browser. Now you can see this is an empty page. You, we are going to design an awesome auto blocking news website as well as we can, are going to automate it so now we are going to click on plugins and we are going to install our required plugins for this auto blocking website so here are some required plugins the plugins files uh, is provided into the description so you can just download this file and extract in your folder and then you can upload the required plugins so i am going to install required plugins one by one so in the plugins you can just click on add new and here i am going to search elementor elementor this is plugin for you know designing purpose so just click on install and uh, there is another plugin which is uh, available in my file so just click on upload and just choose file and all the plugins are provided into my file so i'm going to install them one by one this file is available on uh, folder is available on my desktop so i am going to open that and here is the wp automatic wp automatic is the basically plugin that allow you to automate or auto blocking news website or fetch rss feed and so on so this is required and essential plugin for this website now this plugin is also installed so i will just click on add new and uh, again i will upload another plugin choose file and there is elementor pro so basically the elementor is installed but its pro version is this one so i'm going to install this one as well as now again click on add new upload plugin and choose file and click on jet blog jet blog is uh, a plugin that allow you to create an awesome widgets for your news website and tutorials for news and so on so just now i have installed all plugins so just click on installed plugins now you can see elementor elementor pro jet blog and wordpress automatic 
so i'm going to activate all of these plugins and just click on here you can see select all and i'm going to dislike because i i don't need that and just click on activate and apply now the, after installing wordpress and activating the plugins we will see this dashboard now we are going to set up the wp automatic sum of settings we are going to connect our you know chat gpt as well as we are going to add our amazon affiliate id so just click on wp uh, automatic and just click on settings in the settings you need to add your amazon associate id amazon associate id is an affiliate id for example when someone you know click on any product and will purchase a product the commission will be added to our amazon affiliate account so amazon associate id can be get easily or via clicking on sign up and you can just sign up and get the amazon associate id this is very simple process we don't need to do this as in this tutorial so i have already have a amazon associate id so i have added here as well as just add this and click on save changes after adding the amazon associate id we need the chat gpt as well as because we are going to read it and we are going to write the descriptions for the products from us via chat gpt so that's why we need chat gpt api so you know connect with this api so chat gpt api is basically you can get this with uh, very you know when you will click here you can see the full tutorial how you can get the chat gpt api so because i have already have you know created the chat gpt api so you can just click here and you know navigate how you can create a chat gpt api so because i have already have you know uh, uh, api key so uh, i don't need to create this from scratch but if you if you you know need how to get the api so this is the you know api keys url so you can just open uh, you know api so here you can see so here is the api references now i have you know automatically logged in so i need to click here and you can see view api so just click on view apis and uh, now you can see i have you know many api keys so i can also create a new one that uh, i can use for my account basically it gives you a limited account so if you have paid you know 18 dollars per month you can get access unlimited but for now we have a limited api keys so i will say amazon so i'm going to create api key for my amazon you know auto blocking <coughs> now the api is has been generated so i'm just click on copy that and going back here and going to put that and click on save changes now the basic settings of our you know wp automatic plugin has been done now we are going to create a campaign for creating campaign first of all we need to have some products you know products categories for example and uh, here are our, this is the woocommerce and these are products and here in the categories uh we need to add some categories for our products because we are going to fetch you know products from the amazon for example and uh, from amazon because uh, we are going to, for example jackets and uh, shoes sneakers so we need to have some categories to add so for example i'm going to add a category that's called jackets and just click on add category and also have saved some categories for example and sneakers so you can add uh, as much as you need but for now because we are going to create a tutorial so that's why i am uh, going to add some three or four categories and here you can see and we also navigate here some more cat categories men's fashion or movie or best sneakers software so on so there are many you know categories that we can add for example watches this this is another category for example so there is watches and just click on add new so for, basically we have now you know four categories into our woocommerce store so now we are going back here and here we need to click click on new campaign so we are going to create a campaign to automate our you know products into our website so automatically products will be fetched from the amazon description with be right and uh, this campaign will be automatically run so i'm going to click on new campaign and here i'm going to name it 
according to our categories for example here are the categories so first of all i i got watches and here i will say watches so you can also open the amazon store and uh, here you can see the watches results are here so there are many options to import the categories or you know uh, products from the amazon so you can fetch via url as well as you can fetch from uh, your according to needs so here i'm going to click here and here you need to select the amazon here you can see amazon you know, now you can put your keyword here and uh, keywords when you will add the keywords from the keyword it will be automatically search the products for example if i click here watches and here so uh, watches will be searched automatically and it will be done so i'm going to click here set as keyword and how many you know products you want to fetch from this campaign so for example 2000 so you can make it 100 2000 2000 according to your needs as well as you can price range you can set the price range from 300 dollars to 400 dollars 700 dollars to now 500 dollars it depends upon you you can set the price range as well as modify images you can modify set the post category from the original products to the category you can also do that and um, you can also make set the product description as except i mean except the description that you uh, show on the uh, products except as well as set the default values to the tax return empty value custom post slug formalin i mean uh, if the slug is uh, uh, you know sometime uh, your post likes it too much along uh, so for example five words so i'm going to click it make it five words so here in the open ai modify open ai call permits uh, you can also write that but i will let you know later it for example for now we are going to do other settings here in the post we are going to click here product so post type should be product because we are going to import the product not uh, posters as well as you can also stripe generate the name for the image uh, set the title of the image as all text that's good and in that we are going to add into the watches so this is the watches as well as here the post filter only post that article contain one or more specific words you can also you know uh, set these settings i have made this complete tutorial in, in the description so you can watch but for now we are going to do an amazon so that's why we need don't need to do you know most important is uh, that uh, it, this one truncate title to the specific in the so this should be 60 so sometimes uh, the product title was too much long so that's why this is recommended that you should, should do that 60 and um, here uh, you can you know now in that you can see this is a product description so instead of product description uh, we are going to add you know rewrite this title and we, you can also write rewrite the title you can uh, rewrite the content and keep html tags you can you know summarize the content under words uh, write the article about original title uh, in punch for example and uh, write the title you know write this title original title and it should be rewrite the title it should summarize the content uh, you know the article and return only 100 words you know this will you know give to you the unique uh, description as well as they should uh, write an article in french so if i uh, copy that and here if you copy that and uh, paste into our you know description for example product description here i would like to add uh, you know here and here in the instead of french i would like to set english so it will rewrite the uh, write an article about so i will set write product description okay product title is okay now i have modified the command of uh, the chat gpt it will rewrite i mean the original description will be changed 
with our description so the copied i mean plagiarism description will be changed with the unique description so now we are going to click on publish now our campaign has been published so let's try a run now the campaign is successfully run and this is the title this is the price and this is the buy now button and these are categories and uh, as well as you can see here uh, this is the description so this is basically uh, you know uh, written by chat gpt so this is not original description now you can see this is importing products and uh, doing very well job so like that we are going to do other you know uh, campaigns for other categories for example this is for, for watch so i will just click on duplicate and uh, now we are going to you know do for other product categories for example and uh, you know as i, sh I show you in the uh, you know start so these are uh, you know some of categories so i would like to click on that edit and after clicking on the edit we don't need to do anything we we are going to do some you know basic changes and we are going to run this campaign for example here i'm going to add t-shirts uh sorry yes sorry 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 and here in the t-shirts i would like to add t-shirts and i will remove that watches because these are not needed and here amazon and here uh we need to you know change the category because uh, we are going to add in the you know t-shirts so here are the t-shirts so we have added t-shirts as well as and just click on publish now for the t-shirt campaign is uh, ready and it's also running fine so like that we are going to create <coughs> for sneakers and uh, jackets for example for sneakers i would like to click on duplicate and do okay and refresh the page and then we are going to add same changes and then uh we can create this campaign successful now i'm going to add it second sneakers in that i would like to change it with sneakers and in the end i would like to you know change the category to the sneakers and here it's the sneakers and now we have done and just click on publish so now the sneakers has been done like that uh, we do other category for example which is uh, i mean jackets and uh, now these are two and i'll just duplicate okay okay and just refresh and here i just like to click here open that and here i would like to put jackets and uh, change the keyword i mean uh, we need to change the keywords here jackets and in the last we need to change the category now this one is the jackets and just click on publish now we have uh, uh, you know campaigns and we, we we already we created the campaigns for products i mean these are automatically fetching the products from the amazon now the half of our job is done because for you know affiliate marketing the products are important to you know auto block so now the all the campaigns are running so automatically these are fetching products from the amazon and automatically putting on our website as well as putting our associate id now the next step is now our campaigns are running fine and uh, we already tested that and uh, we don't need to do anything now we are going to focus on design so if we go on the products so you can see there are you know all the products are listed and campaigns are working very fine so now the next step is design because we need to have you know a good design website for now this this is not looking very professional website so that's why we need to have a good looking website so for making it good looking we need to you know do some design so i'm going to design it and uh, you will see uh, how it's going to be 
very professional website so if, if i click here so you can see if i click on buy now it will you know redirect me to the associate link i mean when someone will buy the product the commission will be into our associate account because the there is my associate id is added you can see this is my associate id that is added so now we are going to do the design part of this website now we are going to enter into the design part so for the design part we need to have a theme so in appearance go to themes and uh, in that themes uh, we are going to add a theme that is called bloxy bloxy is a multi-purpose theme that we uh, can use for our website for woocommerce blogs and so on so i have uh, you know already you know have searched this uh, installed this bloxy theme so if you don't have you just need to click on add new and uh, search for you know bloxy in the search box and then this theme will be available to install and uh, activate now here if you search for bloxy if you search for bloxy you will be you know the bloxy theme will be available in the search results to install uh, and uh, to activate so for, for now i have already you know installed so i don't need to install again i just need to activate it so like that it will be available for you know install so just click on activate now the theme has been installed and it is also asking us to activate the you know theme required plugin so just click on activate the uh, bloxy companion bloxy companion is actually a plugin that allow you to you know import the demo content of the you know theme and uh, other important settings for example customizers and so on so after doing that you will see there will be a starter site in the starter site you need to add you know import the demo content so this demo content we can use for our you know website design so basically you can also design from scratch i have attached the video how you can create an amazing e-commerce website and how you can design it the link is given below but for now we are going to import this demo content now i like this this preview so i'll just click here import and just click on in next and make sure you need to select the elementor and just click on next next and click on install now you can see demo content has been uh, imported so let's see our website how it looks like because we have installed the demo content now you can see it's looking very nice but we need to do with modifications still because this is not a final version we need to do some basic settings here and uh, after doing that uh, basic settings uh, we will be <clears throat> on our you know final results so let's do start the customization of uh, the product uh, the, of the website so now you can see this is not looking very nice but uh, we are we are going to adjust that in in few minutes so first of all uh, we are going to in products and we are going to delete the dummy products because uh, the dummy products that are imported from the you know dummy content when we install a dummy content or demo content from any any theme it gives you a dummy data um, uh, from you know the th from the theme so these are some dummy you know products that are you know downloaded you know and imported from the dummy content so we are going to delete that because uh, we don't need that and uh, just click here and move to trash click on apply now the dummy data has been deleted almost and uh, now we have our products that are imported from you know amazon and these are still there so if we get here now you can see uh, this this is a product and if i click here uh we will go next to the you know the, the buying page of amazon so like that we have all the you know products and related products so let's start from you know header so first of all uh we need to click, click here appearance and click on customize and in the customizer we are going to customize our header because this header is you know looking good but we need to add our you know products or categories here so that's why we need to customize the header so in the journal uh, you can uh, uh, you know change the layout settings and so on. i have added the link of my complete video how you can customize the block setting but i am going you giving you this uh, short overview for uh, this and uh, here in the headers you can see 
this these are headed <coughs> settings for example this is a logo and uh, in the logo if you don't want to use logo uh, you can also add the site title uh, for example i'll just say amazon affiliate okay so you it, it depends upon you you are going to use your logo or you know uh, going to use your uh, amazon or any you know your website title and so on so for here in the top row you can see this is a top row here you can see this is a 20 percent off and so on you if you need it you can make you know have it or if you want to delete you can also delete that but here uh, we, i i need it and here you can see uh, in the top this is menu and this is search and this is uh, this is social so in the social you can add your social accounts and so on but uh, we are going back into the main row and in that you can see this is the menu is the default so if i select the main menu this menu will be here but uh, i will like to set is default and click on publish and here i want to change the menu items so i will give here appearance and menus now you can see this is our menu so i will go remove the services about us news maybe remain that and uh, the contact we don't need that and here i would like to add uh, the product categories so just like that product categories and uh, now you can see this option is available and view all so accessories is not necessary and uh, this is a clothing shoes and so on and uh, here you can see electronics uh, wearable technology and health and so on jackets sneakers jackets sneakers t-shirts and watches so if i select here add to you know menu you can see these are available and if i just click on save menu and uh, refresh our home page so let's see these are available or not you can see these are available jackets if i click on jackets the product category jackets all the jackets will be available on that uh, category as well as these uh, this filter is also available on the right side so if i click on buy now button it will redirect me uh into the amazon affiliate for example if i read the you know complete detail of this product and if i click here buy now it will redirect me to the amazon link for example as you can see this is my associator id and it is redirecting me so we have added the top menu as well as uh, we can customize our you know footer so in that footer you can see this is our footer so here you can see i will just click on edit and here you can see this is a widget area for example so if i click here and this is uh, i would like to remove that because we don't need that and here in the about us you can add change your settings about us and also just click here get that detail will be changed so just click on publish after checking the details or you know uh changing the details now we are going to customize our home page because the home page is the very important part of your website so here in the home page we are going to click here edit with elementor because this is made with elementor so we are going to add it with elementor so now you can see uh, it is available for editing so here in the new brand collection i will say amazon amazon products so because we have amazon affiliate products so here you can also change the text and here explore shop so i will add my shop link here as well as here is the new level and here you can see this is the products list is also there so here you can see jackets and if i click here jackets so you can see i will add uh, the uh, url for jackets so here um, this one and so on so you can add the links into that as well as and here you can see uh, in that you can delete that because we don't need that and here these are our popular products so instead of products this is displaying the posters so we don't need, need that for now and remove that and here is the newsletter so 
if you need that you can keep or if you don't need you can remove that and here uh, the other you know products are you know list of products you can also change that but if you don't want to change you can keep it uh, you know like that so just click here update now and uh, again on the home page if i refresh now you can see uh, these taxes also changed and these are products are available and these are you know these are our other products and you can also categorize i mean uh, if you don't you know uh, need this kind of ability or so on so i'll just click here remove that remove that and remove that as well as we don't need that and don't need that and here i will say um, this one and i'll search for products and here i'll search for products and here products so this is um, inactive because uh, our you know limiter pro plugin is not activated so i'm going to activate the plugin uh, that we can enable that so i just click here activate and uh, after activating the plugin uh, we will be able to do that so i'm going to update that and refresh so all the functionality will be available right now now um, i would like to add custom you know items here so i would like to here add one and here i will search for products and here there this is archive products and products cards are available so i just and here instead of new rivals i will just duplicate that and here i will just move here in that and that one i would like to change that and uh rows should be one and query in the query i would like to add uh term and i will say jacket this one jackets and now you can see jackets are available and in the style i would uh, make some styling here this is the box in the box i would like to add uh, the radius and box border width should be one and here this one so i have giving the wedding 22 so this is these are jackets and uh, I, I would like to just add a new column and here instead of uh, four if i if i try to do as three these are three i don't know why these are showing me four and i'm going to add a new column and here i would like to add some margin margin top should be 100 and uh, bottom should be 30 40. okay now here uh, i would like to add a heading so i would like to add animated heading so animated heading means uh, it will look uh you so nice and here in that i would like to say try out our sneakers okay sneakers so sneakers uh, i would like to add sneakers here and in the products i will search here again the products and here you can see these are products and now you can add here three instead of four and the row should be one and here in the query i would like to add as term and in the term i would like to add sneakers now you can see product creative sneakers now the sneakers are available also i'm going to styles and in the style maybe you can see column gap so here is the column gap and now here there is uh in the that one is the box and first of all border width should be one border radius should be 20 and padding should be 25 now you can see it's looking nice right now and if you want to add you know pagination so here is a pagination it means uh user can navigate to the next pages and so on so this is uh the sneakers so if i click here and duplicate and here 
you can see instead of sneakers i would like to add uh, our other category the category is i think jackets and t-shirts so t-shirts i would like to add t-shirts and in the categories uh, i would like to add here and here in the query we just need to change the category so category should be t-shirts okay here term should be t here t-shirt so here you can see product categories and it should be t-shirts now there will be t-shirts available here and uh, as well as uh, we can add our you know watches here because we also working on watches and just duplicate that and here again in that i would like to change the query query should be the watches so i would like to remove that and search for watches and now you can see uh, the product tags product category is watches so try out our watches okay. now the, these are watches and in you know uh, these are some watches here and these are uh, t-shirts sneakers and uh, you know jackets everything is available here right now and i'm just going to click here update now let's see how it looks like our home page is right now and if I scroll down and you can see these are very nice and you can see these are sneakers and these are jacket sorry t-shirts and these are you know our uh, watches so if if you click here on the buy now it will redirect us to you know Amazon link so this is our associate link so I hope you like this video if you like this video please subscribe my channel and hit the like button also comment below with your concerns if you have any issue with that you know uh, you know with with that tutorial or if you uh, could not understand anything you can comment below i hope you like this video and uh, again i'm requesting you to subscribe my channel uh, because many of people watch the full video but uh, they do not subscribe this channel